Hello everyone. In today's video I'm going to provide a quick silver and gold market update. Did you know silver is up 60 cents in the last couple of days? I hope you stocked up when the price was low. I'm also going to touch on the gold to silver ratio and how you can play the ratios in order to maximize the number of ounces you have in your holdings. And I'll also do a brief recap on the upcoming BRICS meeting and how that may impact the metals market. Got a lot to talk about, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, as promised, we're gonna give a market update on gold and silver and uh, give some thoughts on where we think it might go in the near future based on what's going on in the world. If you pay attention to the silver markets like I have to with my job, uh, you probably have noticed that silver is up about 60 cents since last Friday. Um, Friday the 18th of August, silver was hovering right around 22.75 an ounce. Right now, the 22nd of August, 2023, silver sits at $23.35 per ounce, which is a 60 cent jump, which is pretty significant. Uh, why do I think that's significant? Because gold remained flat. Uh, gold has been hovering around that $1,895 to $1,898 spot price range and didn't move. Silver made a jump, gold stayed flat. What does that mean? Well, it's kind of hard to predict. I mean, I don't know if it truly has meaning, uh, but that tells me that silver took a jump up, made a correction, and in my opinion, is starting to get closer to its real value. Granted, I believe it has a long way to go. And I say that because of the gold to silver ratios. And I've talked about them countless times in videos and I'll always continue to bring them up. But truly, if you don't understand the gold to silver ratio and how it impacts what you should be buying, whether it be gold or silver, you should truly, in my opinion, pay attention to this part. Uh, what is the gold to silver ratio? Well, quite simply, it's one ounce of gold, the price of one ounce of gold, divided by the price of one ounce of silver. So you got about $1,895 spot price for an ounce of gold. You got about $25, I'm sorry, $23.35 for an ounce of silver. You divide that by this, you get 81. So what does that mean? Well, quite literally, it means it takes 81 ounces. These are 10 ounce bars here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 81 takes 81 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold. Now, why is that important today? Well, as I've pointed out in previous videos, I actually did a whole video about how you can get free silver, and simply it's by playing the gold to silver ratios. The same can be argued, you can get free gold also when the ratios flip the other way. But I'll put a link to that video down in the description. But I'm buying silver today. Why? Because the ratio is 81 to one, where it takes 81 ounces of silver to equal the value of one ounce of gold. So let's just say for instance, today I do buy my 81 ounces of silver. Okay, I'm gonna pay around $2,000, just like you would for a one ounce American Gold Eagle today. And I sit on it. Now, granted the ratio today is 81, so I paid $2,000 for this 81 ounces of silver. As metal markets fluctuate, and believe me, they do fluctuate. Uh, if you don't uh, watch markets, you know, check it when you wake up in the morning, check it midday, check it before you go to bed. I guarantee you the prices will probably be markedly different at those times of days, although it may be a few cents or a few dollars. Sometimes it does jump quite a bit more. Uh, but I have my 81 ounces of silver, as mentioned, if you remember the eight of those in a one ounce silver round, and I set those aside. And now I start to pay attention to the ratios. And there's actually some apps, uh, online gold and silver apps that do the ratio calculation for you. But if you can't find one of those, um, simply as I said, it's the price of gold divided by the price of silver to get your ratio. So if I'm buying at 81 to one, um, in order for me to convert my silver into gold, I'm probably gonna wait till it's more attractive, like a 60 to one. Um, because what that'll mean then Let's just say silver continues to go up at a higher rate than gold, the spot price does. So the ratio between the two starts shrinking. So at that point it takes less and less silver to purchase that one ounce of gold. Because as I said today, remember it takes 81 ounces today 
to buy one ounce of gold. Well, let's say silver gets to $27, $28 an ounce, and gold is still hovering around $1,900. Um, I don't know if those numbers work out. I'll put corrections on the screen if they're not. Uh, but let's say that puts the ratio now closer to 60 to 1. That's when I act, okay? So now I'm going to take my pile of 81 ounces of silver, okay? And I'm going to convert it because it only costs me 60 ounces now. I'm going to convert it, convert this 60 ounces. I'll go to my local coin shop, broker a trade, and pick up one ounce of gold. As I said in previous videos, there's probably going to be a small fee involved. Um, you know, there might be a, the dealer's going to buy this back at a certain price and sell this to you at a certain price. Uh, it's going to depend on circumstances and what you're trading back and forth. But essentially, I'm going to trade in 60 ounces of silver to purchase one ounce of gold. Now, why is that important? Because just a few months back, when the ratio was 81 to 1, I spent $2,000 to get 81 ounces of silver. I only had to trade in 60. So now I have my ounce of gold, plus I have 21 ounces of silver here. So you can look at it as gaining 21 ounces of silver just by playing the ratios. That's what I do. I've made swaps uh, when gold was 60 to 1, uh, and then I've swapped back when, or I'm sorry, when the ratio gets 60 to 1, I swapped back when it got to 85 to 1. And I, I gained 125 ounces of silver. If you watch that video, you'll understand what I mean. Um, but it's very, very important to pay attention to the ratios because as long as one metal's moving and the other one isn't, the ratios are going to get impacted much, much quicker. So there's going to be opportunity to increase your stack without putting out any additional money or currency, I should say. So something really, really everyone should pay attention to. Don't get too uh, frustrated with it, though, because usually it takes big events to move the needle either direction. Um, speaking of big events, the BRICS nations are holding their meeting this week. There's a lot of speculation on what they're going to talk about. If you're not familiar with BRICS, that's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. It's a coalition of countries that have banded together essentially to figure out a new uh, economic global trade monetary vehicle in which they're going to do trade, uh, which could definitely spell the end of our U.S. dollar in, uh, in relation to global trade. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, but how's that going to impact the markets? Well, really, it's going to depend on what's decided, what's talked about. If they truly do announce a new currency and it's gold-backed, um, I think that's going to have big implications on our dollar. How that impacts metals, boy, honestly, it's really tough to predict. Uh, you know, the conventional thinking would be that metals would have to go up and revalue. Um, but things don't always happen conventionally anymore. It used to be in the old days, for instance, if the Dow Jones Industrial Average went down, you could bet everything you owned that the metals market went up. And you'd be right. But now it doesn't always happen that way. That inverse relationship isn't always there. So how a BRICS announcement this week affects the manipulated metals markets, it's really hard to say. But as I said, it truly should, any news, should have a positive impact on metals pushing them up. Um, but we will see. So that remains to be seen. You know, if something uh, big earth shattering happens with those BRICS meetings, I'll do a video on it uh, coming up later this week. But I honestly anticipate that it's not going to have much of an impact. Um, it's probably just a big, what they call a nothing burger, <laughs> where it's just kind of an uneventful meeting that doesn't have direct, immediate impacts on our daily lives, our U.S. dollar, and the markets of the metals. So, but we will see. But uh, while I got some things shown off here in front of you all that you've been looking at this whole time, just want to showcase a few new pieces we got in the shop. This is a St. Helena 10-ounce Queen Elizabeth II, 10 pounds of face value here, 10-ounce silver bar. And it says, May God direct my steps. Really nice, ornate piece. I'm really not sure who makes this, but it has a little crest that has EIC. Uh, maybe St. Helena is the, the maker of this. I'm really not sure, but it's a really nice looking bar that walked into the shop the other day. I think I featured these before. I have some of these uh, gold-silver bull 
one ounce silver rounds. Uh, they have a nice, nice frosty finish there. And it says maximum prosperity can only be achieved through individual freedom, free markets, and sound money. What is sound money? That's gold and silver, folks. So that's a cool round. I'll, I also have a, a good stock of some Don't Tread On Me silver rounds that came in. The Price of Liberty, Eternal Vigilance. It's a good looking piece. And then uh, one of my favorites too is these uh, Pegasus rounds. This one's got some toning on it. Maybe I'll pick out a better looking one for the camera here, but this is a nice one ounce silver Pegasus round. It's got a 2016 date on it, made by goldsilver.com. Free markets and free people, it says on the crest there. Really nice, cool piece. And then I do have uh, about a whole tube of these left, these Australian Year of the Tiger 2022s. So that's a cool piece as well. So if you have questions about the gold and silver market, please drop them down in the comments. I'm not a financial expert, but I'm happy to give opinions on where I think it's gonna go. I think long-term outlook is very good for metals. I think most people that watch these channels agree. Uh, the question remains is what's the timing? You know, when is it finally gonna break out? Is it gonna take an announcement from BRICS that'll spell the death of the dollar? Is it gonna take a world war? Is it gonna take an unexpected election result? I mean, who knows, but metals are true money, they're sound money, they're real money, they have been since ancient times. I, for one, am gonna keep stacking, silver especially, um, based on the ratios currently, because I do believe silver, as I said, is quite undervalued in relationship to gold. Um, but having said that, uh, there's a lot of people that feel differently. As I mentioned before, we've moved a lot of gold in the last week or so from the shop, uh, because a lot of new people coming in to buy metal, and uh, that's what they hear about in the news and on the Roslyn Capital TV commercials and things like that, it's gold, gold, gold. So. They're buying gold. Um, I, for one, I'm, I'm stocking up on silver because I think there's gonna be good opportunities to convert my silver into gold when the ratios get less, as I explained in a little bit of detail in today's video. So if you have questions, drop them down in the comments. Uh, as I mentioned in a community tab, I'm gonna be doing an interview with my good friend Dave Peter from CoinHuskers. Uh, we're gonna discuss all things related to precious metals if you have specific questions you want us to cover in that uh, collaboration, please leave them down in the comments. I'll be sure we bring them up. But thank you for all tuning in. You all are wonderful. Thanks for the support. You all have a great day.